Alright guys, we are back. This is one of the first things we're going to explain, first things we're going to go over for testing grounds in 7 days to die, is how can you make things like this? You Well, technically you can make this in the real game, but a lot of concrete, a lot of steel went into this, a lot of time digging. Uh, so if you want, the way I test this stuff is I use the debug menu, as you can see I can fly, uh, I can spawn in things, the debug menu and the creative menu. So I'm going to go through a quick how to to get to that stuff. If you guys want to play with it, test it out, stuff like that. So first thing is you have to have cheats on when you make your world. If you don't, you can't do it. I won't let you do anything. Uh, then you have to drop down your command prompt and I'm already in, having both on, but if you do DM, oh not DM with the thingy magic. Just DM, uh, debugs off, hit it again, turns it on. And this one you can know you have it by when you hit your escape, you have this debug tools on the side. Change what day it says. Right now we're on day one. Change it all the way up to 16, one. You can change the time of day. I can make it middle of the day, make it nice and bright. And how fast the day moves. Like now if you look at the time, look how fast. It's just the time goes really quickly. I don't think it changes how fast zombies move or nothing. I think it's just like the ticks in the game. Uh, then you have fly mode, god mode, no collision, which I really don't like. You can like sink through. It's kind of cool, but it's not when you're building and such. It makes it really weird. And then you like go through the world. And then so we're going to turn that back off. Uh, invisible, you can turn off the physics. So if you're building something and you don't want it to collapse, you can turn off the physics to you know you got kind of supported. Or you can just leave it off in general. Stupid corpse. Uh, but yep, this that's the debug menu. Then if I hit you, this is the the creative menu. It has all the blocks you could ever want, all the items. You can see they're all random values, which is kind of it's kind of annoying. There's also weird stuff. I don't know how you get this one. I do have one. And my this is my chest in here is because I I don't want to I want to keep my inventory kind of unfull. Again, ammunition's chest. If I can get in here, if I can just select it in general. Oh, there it is. Yep. Munitions chest. Has all my stuff that I'm not using, paintbrushes and such. So to get that one on, it's the same thing. You open up your command window, which for me is F1. Uh, you might need to check where it is. If you go into options, you can go to controls, and you can scroll down just a hair. See if I can find it for you. Right, actually, yep, in the, it's in the bottom. It's under generic, F1. It's your console. Whatever you have it set to. And then you do CM is for creative menu. And I'll turn mine back on. And that's all you have to do. So that way you can get whatever blocks you want. A um, couple just random tips. When going for blocks like I have all purple tools, you can't get that. Say I wanted a, what's, which one I don't have? What is it? AAK, yeah. Say I wanted an AK-47. You see that it is a green tool assault rifle. But if you, you see it's a 334, if you keep typing it repeatedly, it changes the value. Now, I don't think I've ever seen a purple of just the gun. I think the highest I've ever seen is blue. But you can see the parts come up to purple. So what you'll have to do, the way I did it at least, is I would take, I would find one that was like a 400 level, take it, take the book, read the book, and then go back and just replace the parts. That way you have a high level assault rifle, or like me, I've just been using the solid off. I don't know which one's better, the normal shotgun or the solid off shotgun, but I've just been using that. So as like a random horde comes through, if zombies fall into into your working area, you can clean them up. Chainsaw's good. I've been using to remove corpses. I don't know if it's the best, but it's very convenient because it really works pretty well. And yeah, so that's been the debug and creative menu. A little easy tutorial. Nothing much, but if you're planning to build massive structures, plan to do any kind of things like that, it helps a lot. Uh, yep, that would be, that is how to do it. So I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please hit that like button. Let me know you're enjoying this new series. Uh, we still need submissions in for what we want to test. That one will come out, the first test will come out on the next video. But I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.